Hey y'all, it's Alicia. Today I wanted to make a tutorial video on how I sell my hand lettered designs as both PNG files and SVG files. So I wanted to make a video on it because um, it was hard for me to figure out how to convert my hand lettered PNG file into an SVG file. And of course I made it way harder than it really was. And whenever I was trying to figure it out, I couldn't really find any tutorial videos on how to do the way that I ended up figuring out. Most ways that I saw, um, they talked about vectorizing your hand lettering, which you may need to do if like the brush that you use in Procreate, which is the program that I draw in, um, if it's not perfectly smooth on the sides. Um, that might be a reason why you have to vectorize. I've actually never vectored anything, so I'm not sure. Um, don't listen to me about that. But the brush that I use is smooth on the side, so it works perfectly. So I don't have to worry about that. So I use my iPad with Procreate and my Apple Pencil. I hand letter a design. I save it as a PNG. And then I um, upload that onto my computer. I open it up in Silhouette and I convert it into an SVG and I'm going to show you how I do that. Another point I want to make is my MacBook laptop is an older version so I'm not able to airdrop things from my iPad to my MacBook which is not fun but I have a way around it and I wanted to show that in case maybe you were in the same position as I am. I use this handy little thing. It uh, is a flash drive that can plug both into your iPad and your computer. And it's a SanDisk brand. It's from Amazon. I can paste the link below. Um, also, my neighbor's mowing, so sorry about the noises, but real life. <laughs> of course, whenever I got ready to record this, they decided to mow. But anyways, so um, now we're gonna step into it. I'm gonna show you the steps I go through on my iPad and the steps I go through on my computer. So let's get started. So I have my hand lettered word pumpkin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my background, insert my flash drive that can go both into my computer and my iPad. Tap allow, go back to procreate, Tap the little wrench and then it's on share. I'm going to share it as a PNG. Save it to the disk that I have inserted. Save here. So now it's on my flash drive and I'm going to take it to my computer. Now I have um, Silhouette open and I'm going to open the pumpkin file. So I'm going to open, I'm going to have it on my desktop. So now I have pumpkin and has the transparent background, which is what we want. So now I'm going to trace it. So I'm gonna come over here, click the trace tool, select trace area, select all around the pumpkin. And I'm going to click trace. So now you can see that there is a red outline around the word pumpkin. I'm gonna click just kind of in the center so that I click the word and I always just move it away and delete it. And now I'm left with this outline. And what I do is I change that outline color to black. And I do that because whenever I, uh, on all of these, I always make sure that it will be cut properly. So I click send and that always turns it to red. So. I look at it and I see that it's going to cut well, so that's it. And now I'm going to save it as an SVG. So click Save As, Save to Hard Drive. I'm going to save it in my SVG folder. And then I'm going to make sure to change this to SVG. Click OK. So now you have a cut file and then I have the PNG file. And this is something you can do if you'd like to sell your hand lettering as 
both PNG and cut files, or maybe you purchase a file and it's just the hand lettering and you want to be able to cut it out of vinyl or send it to your silhouette, you can do this. I hope this helps. Bye, y'all.